Hello guys, today we're going to be doing a video on if you should undervolt your card or not. We're going to be testing uh, what temperature differences you get and if the performance is impacted by it or not. Alright, let's jump into it. Alright, firstly I'm going to do a control test. So I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and take our fan speed off auto and I'm going to save it at 60%. Uh, I'm going to apply. I'm going to go ahead and do a benchmark. I'm going to go ahead and see what temperatures we get up to and what is our performance score. And do it all over again with the undervolt and compare the two. We got a score of 9028. Our max temperature was 78 Celsius, as we can see up here. And uh, the card drew 230 watts on average. And the clock was at 1860 megahertz. Okay. So now. So now that we know that, uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, start underclocking our card. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and drop our core clock speed by minus 200 megahertz. And after that, what we're going to do is we're going to press Control F to bring up the graph that manages our core clock and how much power is delivered at that set core clock. And then we can start adjusting. As you can see, this line above is what it was at default. And the one below is what we're going to be adjusting it to. And uh, as you can see, it seems to cap out at 1100 megavolts is what it seems to be capping at. So now we're going to actually go ahead and start undervolting the card. And a, and the safe spot to start at is around 1000 to 950. Um, you can do 975, it's up to you. But around that range is fine. And since we know our card reaches 1860 megahertz, so we're going to drag the dot. Uh, from 975, just to be safe, 975 to 1860, and we'll drag it back up to 1860. So there is 1864, which is a little higher, and we're going to press apply. And as you can see, our graph will change and it will curve up, and it won't go past uh, 975, whereas before it would go up to 1100. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and, and run the benchmark back again to see if the system is stable. And if it is, we'll drag it back down, do the benchmark again, drag it back down, do the benchmark again until it crashes. And then we go up a little bit and we'll find our stable point. Alright, let's go ahead and run the benchmark again at our new settings. Alright, the test just finished and we got a score of 9044, which is already an increase of our stock score, which was 9028. Temperatures capped at, at around 73 degrees Celsius, whereas in our stock uh, stock temperature was sitting at 78, 78 degrees. So we got a decrease of 5 degrees from just doing a little bit of undervolting. It was nothing massive. And our score got increased, our power usage got decreased to 210 watts from 230, and our temperature dropped and by before, 5 before we did it at 975, so right now I'm going to drop it down to... Uh, I mean 950 is going to be safe, so I'm going to go down to, to 925. So I'm gonna skip 950, but if you want, you can do 950 as well just to test. And we're gonna do, but I'm gonna skip it and do 925. So 1860 again. So I'm gonna drag up the dot from 925 to 1860 on the left. So as you can see, the number, the left going to 864 like we was before. And then we're gonna come back and press apply. Crab. So our test just finished and we got a temperature of 68 degrees, 69 degrees Celsius, which is already an, a bigger drop than uh, what we had before. Um, we had 78 at stock, 78 Celsius at stock, now we had 68 Celsius, so we dropped by 10. Uh, our score dropped by 9 points from stock, though. we're sitting at 19, uh, 9019 from 9028, which is a small drop, it's probably the difference of one to two frames, so it's not that big of a deal. Um, our power draw was at 180 to 190 from 210, uh, sorry, from 230 at stock. And the benefit of undervolting your card is that since it's running cooler, the fans aren't spinning as fast all the time, so the fans will last longer, and your card is running cooler, so that will also last longer as well. So I went ahead and I pushed that millivolts down to 875, which caused it to crash. So I pushed it back up to 900, and it was stable then, and these are the results that we got. Uh, 67 degrees, and our score was higher than our stock clock. 
And yeah, so from 900 to 925 is the sweet spot, I think. And now that we found this sweet spot, we're gonna exit the benchmark and go ahead and save it, save our profile. So we press save, and then we can choose one to five. I'll just choose two. Make sure that you press apply overclocking at system startup, just so it uses the curve. And hey, that's pretty much it. Let's jump into the results. That's it for the video guys, I hope you found it useful, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like, and this is will be highly appreciated. See you next time.